project is called Online Scratch, or Scratch Online, depending on who you're talking to. I think the, essentially it's about um, finding a way uh, of involving audiences digitally in a creative process. I think another interesting thing is that we're using open source technology. So this is very much a thing that we can create and other people and other arts organisations can look at what we've done and, and replicate it. We've uh, gathered three orchestras and we've worked with three different halls and we're broadcasting their one concert each. It's given us a chance to get out to a wider audience. Also we're streaming online so potentially anybody across the country and across the world um, could be watching. We applied for funding to create a digital platform, essentially that's been made manifest as an app to encourage cultural organisations across the city to work together to engage through digital technology to reach new and diverse audiences. As a platform, it's something that's very flexible. This time the themes that are uniting the locations are Dickens, but the next time it could be a theme like climate change or something that lots of cultural organisations can tap into. Happenstance takes six technologists and puts them into three arts organisations for two five-week sprints. I hope that, that what will come out of this would be a recognition that innovation doesn't necessarily need to be planned. The project that we um, got funding for is, is called LSO Pulse. Um, it's our student scheme that we have, it's a discounted ticket scheme. The idea is really to use the, those technologies to, available today in a very specifically packaged way to engage with the student community and uh, find more students and sell more tickets and get them more engaged with, the, with classical music. The idea of the project um, of Culture Cloud is really to engage audiences, artists and curators and to see how they interact within the marketplace. And it's really providing a digital platform for artists to um, engage with curators and for audiences to then vote and support works that they like that can then feature in a gallery. Well, the idea behind social interpretation is that we're using social media concepts and putting them onto museum collections. What kinds of policies do we need to put in place in terms of conditions and moderation policies to support the activity that we're doing? And, and that we feel will be very transferable to the rest of the sector. Punch Drunk is a company which specialises in uh, staging productions in disused sites, often abandoned buildings, and turning them into the world of whatever show we're reimagining. The most important thing for me that will come out of this for other organisations is an understanding of how to approach digital technology, an understanding of how to develop projects with digital partners.